Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Visionary April here, back with another video. Um, I had my first week of graphic design school and I want to tell you guys all about my experience. And without further ado, let's get started. So let me talk about it like, if you don't know, my channel I do a lot of art videos so you know I have an interest in art. But yeah, now I started graphic design school and I absolutely love it. I have, let me try to list the, the um, classes I have. I have typography, foundation drawing, vector graphics, um, vector and rector, I think, um, art history of design, um, my last class, why I can, I know why I couldn't remember it now. My last class is public speaking, you know, that's not directly involved with art, so I guess that's why I didn't remember it. But I just love it. I love learning so, like, it's only been a week, but I felt like I learned a couple of stuff, like, especially in typography. I learned a lot about that, like how, um, like, this could be an example of something, typography. This is actually my favorite shirt probably wear this a whole bunch on my YouTube channel no shame about it um but they told us how letters they have like anatomy and like they mean something based on how they look and how ha they have tails and different fonts and what they mean and how different fonts make things look different and why you shouldn't combine certain fonts because they don't look smooth or nice and how that affects design like I just I just love it. Typography, I'm really interested. My public speaking class, um, I actually like it. I'm shy and anxious to talk out loud. And I was really scared. Like, my heart was hurting. I try to br do breathing exercise because we had a presentation to introduce ourselves. I try to do breathing exercise. It helped a little bit, but my heart was still hurting. I went up there, I prepared. I read over my speech a couple of times and I actually did well. The only thing I think I had to work on is like looking out on the, on the audience because I get scared. But the way I talk was nice and smooth. Now vector graphics class. Um, let me talk about that. In terms of design, my experience is like with drawing. I don't really know the computer aspect of it like I'm really I'm really not an expert at the the computer graphics of it and I feel like it holds me back because a lot of kids know so much about the computer side of it and I feel like that's where the graphic design industry is heading that's where you get all the jobs by knowing computers so like I don't know a lot and I guess that's the class I have to really focus on because a lot of my classmates, they're like, oh yeah, I know Photoshop, I know Illustrator, and I, I don't know any of it, but I'm going to I'm gonna learn. But now I know that's like my focus should be foundation drawing. I love art. I love to draw. Let's give you a little example. I did this on my channel. Look at this cool little art thing of Carmen San Diego. Like I I think I know a little bit about, you know, I know a little bit about how to draw, but if you look at my art, okay, so if you look at my art, I feel like I didn't get to really do foundation drawing. I just do I'm just a natural like kind of like I just do based on what I see, but our cartoons but foundation I think I need to get the foundation I need to learn more about anatomy and and shape and light and how it hit an object more so I think foundation drawing is definitely what I need even though I'm gonna be honest I think since it's basics it's probably gonna be boring but um I'll just see you know I'll continue doing it and and see um where it goes from there. What else did I didn't talk about? Typography, vector, foundation drawing, public speaking. 
Oh yeah, so my art history class, my professor actually took us to this French museum in Manhattan. It was like a little private museum and they opened not too long ago. I really liked it. It showed me a lot about books. It had a lot of books in type and I actually seen, I believe Thomas Jefferson, his book was in there and it was pretty cool. Like. That was history and I got to see it. That was a really cool experience. I did all of this stuff and learned all of this stuff in one week. How crazy is that? Um, yeah, and she showed me book covers and, and, and how the book covers really... Sometimes, she said sometimes the book does um, reflect what's inside. Because you know a lot of people say don't judge a book by its cover. But... She actually said sometimes you can judge a book by its cover. She gave me gave us a lot of examples and I was really interested. There was like this book that's like a poem and they cut it out and you could move the page move the little strips of um poem and that would change the meaning of the page. That was really cool and artistic. I just love it. And yeah, that's that's what I gotta say about all my classes. So overall, I love graphic design. Like, I could see myself really doing this. Um, I'm very interested in it. I want to see where it gets me. But that's all for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe for more videos. And follow me on my graphic design journey. I love you guys. And I see you in another video. Peace out.